Welcome back to Key Talk Media. This is your host, Key Talk. Check it out, man. All right. I want to give a shout out to Notification Gang, Key Talk Gang, even though they're really the same thing for rocking with me every single video. If you listen to my voice right now, go ahead and like the video, hit the notification bell so you get a notification every single time I drop a video. Anyway, so another YSL member has flipped on Young Thug, who was also arrested for the racketeering charge. You already know. Young Thug is still in the ring you know I'm talking about dodging, sh- dodging shots like Mayweather still trying to fight give his all that he can actually give but he is getting tired but he still ain't gave up and still ain't did any type of confessing now on the other end the YSL team you already know they throwing in the towels confessing stuff a guy that goes by the name of Slime Life Shouty not only has he now came out and said your honor you know what YSL is a game. Y'all got it. I throw the towel in. You know, I'm tired of fighting like Young Thug. YSL is a game. He also said that YSL is actually destroying the life of the youth. An official reporter came out and said, Hi, Fulton County Court update on a YSL case. After Ghana rapper Slime Life Shouty, a.k.a. Wani Lee, is in court today pleading guilty to a racketeering charge, admits that YSL is a gang, will get one commuted to time serve should be out of jail soon after nine months so pretty much he's going to be out of jail he's been in there for about nine months already of course that's like the duration of this rico uh now like i said young thug lawyer said a lot of these guys are just taking these deals which is making it hard on young thug uh just so they can pretty much get out and it also says mr lee also says yes ma'am when asked in uh when asked if gang life destroys the life of the youth so pretty much they made him do one of the gunner when gunner was like yes ma'am they got all of them doing it anyways it also says warns him not to go to the strip club after 10 p.m so they don't put buddy on restrictions can't be at the strip club after 10 p.m and then also it says the curfew is presumably for nine years he is on probation so yeah they're gonna let him out of jail but he got nine years of probation which means he can't do no type of messing up at all now that could very well be a trap so he can mess up and get him back on because they do say that you know with the probation this pretty much be just to get people back in trouble especially when he got nine years but I'm sure he'd rather do nine years at home on probation rather than nine years inside the jail. If he didn't have an issue doing stuff inside the jail, he wouldn't have came out and just said, hey, you know what? YSL is a gang. And also YSL, the gang life is destroying the life of the youth anyways. So as the days go by and the case heats up and more people get on the stand, and, well, not get on the stand, well, who knows they get on the stand and as more people get questioned in court and go ahead and admit that YSL is a gang. By looking at them, you probably think these guys will be super solid and just deal with the time that they got to do but it does seem like as more time goes on more and more of them are gonna tell also there's people in the comment section saying maybe young thug got him doing this maybe young thug just making them plead out and well who knows if young thug is making them plead out young thug is a strong soldier you know talking about but it does look like like i said there's gonna be more pleas coming out and there's gonna be more people just saying that YSL sell is a gang which of course will make it hard on young thug and the good news is young thug got that you know that, that phone thrown out uh that evidence on that phone thrown out so they won't be able to use that but of course they've got all these plea and the plea people this is the thing about it and a lot of their pleas which I'm sure this guy's plea will come out eventually as well. At the end of the paper, it tells you, hey, if we need to call you up on the stand as part of your plea agreement of getting out of jail, we will call you to the stand. And of course, that's only if they take it to trial. If Young Thug don't do any type of plea in himself. But anyways, we'll definitely just have to see how this goes. Let me know some coming down below. Let me know what you think about this entire ordeal. I'm out.